All right. I am watching you, Rodent. Chapter three: What's The Cost of Freedom. Me? It is common knowledge that rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the Das Quarantine Zone access code. A likely story. Why don't you go bother someone else? I intend to. Hmm. Open this door! I know you are in there, sentient tree! Do not think that I do not know what you are up to. What is he doing, Drax? What do you think he's Your doing in there? Your co-conspirator has clearly stashed his illicit units in there. Hmm. I am watching you, tree. What do you want, Quill? If you're looking for units, check your own room. So, you here to talk, or uh, you just want a gear upgrade? You're not still upset, are you? It'd be a lot better if we didn't have three cycles to pay a fine. Hey, remember that time on Conlar? With the Badoon and that really hot Ascavarian girl? <laughs> yeah, her buddies would have spaced your stupid Humey butt if me and Groot hadn't busted in. I had things under control, mostly. Ha! <laughs> Too bad you're broke, Quill. I should be charging you for all the times we saved you. Name one other time you saved me. Contraxia, Nowhere, Parametar, Ceres, Contraxia again, Malador... Okay, 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 so hmm. I owe you. Big. I should have turned you in for Yondu's bounty. Sure as Scott wouldn't be scrounging for units to pay off your Nova girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. But admit it. You like being a guardian of the galaxy. Still on the fence about the brand name, but uh, keeping the Milano as collateral what, 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 was a pretty wouldn't... smart move. What name Never would you have chosen, huh? If you'd rather I turn you in. Don't worry. I know you put a lot into this team. I'll make it up to you. You better. If you want to make it up to me, find a way to pay this flark and fine. I want this one. One fine tech upgrade, hot and fresh. Excellent. That'll do this it for now. This work is worth more than your worth, Quill. Guys, okay. don't forget to close the fridge. Sure thing, Mom Lord. All right, all right. Groot, <laughs> you okay in there? Think you could open the door for a minute? What? Is that my toothbrush? Oh, come on, Groot. Great. Now I need a new toothbrush. <laughs> there you So, you're taking the whole find the units thing pretty seriously. It is a serious matter. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. We're all afraid of going Why back to prison. Why am I the prison. door? I am not afraid of going back to prison. Oh, good. Because I'm not either, mostly. In the kiln, I was surrounded by criminals, murderers, and thieves. They taught me a harsh lesson. Assassins and bounty hunters cannot be trusted. Okay. Wow. Don't you think maybe you're calling the kettle black? I have not mentioned kitchenware. <laughs> it, it's an earth thing. What oh, I mean Jax. is, you're a convicted mass murderer. I used to be a pirate. We're not exactly upstanding citizens. Oh, man. You and I honor our word. I cannot say the same for the others. You could be wrong, Drax. You won't know until you give them a chance. We will see. All right, pal. Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. What? What are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the dolls? Do you value your life? <laughs> Is that a trick question? 
Okay, yes. Mostly, I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. So, See you in the lounge? Well... Out! Got it. Alright. Alright, Gamora. See how it is. Does it bother you that if we don't manage to get the money in time, this team is toast? We will get the coin, Peter Quill promised. We shall not turn to roasted bread slices. Yeah, well, uh, no offense to Quill, but he ain't too good at keeping his promises. Yup, neither am I. Dazzler, that's cool. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 7,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly... Need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Fang what about Fum. selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come <laughs> on, you've been hoarding those stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always She's holding out on My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will star sacrifice system. your guys. Let's just hear Drax out this time. Fin Fang Foom is the fiercest, most legendary monster in the galaxy. It shatters the bones of all who go after it. The skulls of the greatest hunters are impaled upon its fangs. Well, imagine the glory of such a death. Our goal isn't death, Drax. Glorious death. Out of the no. question. Well. In that case, you're not selling my stuff. I am Groot. Listen to Groot. I what does he have to say? Am Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your what? plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell so, Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. The monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great. How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Um... I'm thinking we saw, uh, I'm thinking let's do Rocket. Well, Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we get it. <laughs> the point is, is I think you'd make a fine monster. And we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once you're in there. But just to be 100% sure, you're definitely okay with this. Uh, are you kidding? I can't wait to hold this over you. Oh. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. All right, I guess we're, we're doing this. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf are tied nine. to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. 
Yep. Okay. Worse than it is, huh? A cake. <sighs> you can't be serious. Yeah, no what? Problem. This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. Oh, here we are. First we're gonna scope. Bet we could have made some money if we'd stopped by nowhere first. Will you please stop? Yeah, probably. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but how about some positivity for a change? Next there you go, time, Gamora. I'm flying. Monsters do not fly ships. Monsters do whatever <laughs> they want. <laughs> oh, that sounds better. Don't you I get all gloomy right more now. Coming. Don't. Sure will be nice. Because your constant complaining does. <laughs> you you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all com almost had it. Meditation shrine. Uh, why don't we ever get missions on nice, warm, dry planets? Oh. Paramitar did have a nice forest because it was dry. All right. I thought you'd be thrilled to finally go. set foot on Seknarf 9, Drax, but you're awfully composed. I am endeavoring to contain my enthusiasm. Our mission is of prime importance. Really? No, you are correct. I am very eager. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks broke. Group! Hey, buddy. I was just, uh, checking to see if everything was okay. And it is. Okay. I am Groot. Too bad this translator's busted. I was hoping it might have Groot stored on it, or something. I am Groot. That way I could download it into my translator. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on stuff without, you know, Rocket always filtering it. I am Groot. Actually, hold that thought. Yo, Rocket! What? Can you come here for a sec? What do you want, Quill? I'm busy. Think you can see if this translator has Groot's language on it? It doesn't. You didn't even check. Don't need to. Cheap scut like that don't have rare language packages. And even if it did, it's beyond salvageable. What? Really? Wait, do you have Groot's language package installed in your translation implant? Do I look like I'm made of units? Only folks who got that language package are rich people. So you actually speak Groot, then? You mean Talinism? And yeah, I speak it, more or less. Talinism. Me and Groot been bounty hunting together for a decade before you came along, Quill. When you've been working together that long, you develop a common understanding. I am Groot. You say misunderstandings, I say open to interpretation. I am Groot. They didn't go sour. We didn't need those jobs anyway. <laughs> so you guys learned to understand each other over time. And with the help of a spreadsheet of Groot's lexicon, which ain't no easy feat when your entire <laughs> language sounds like I am in Groot. So there's hope for us yet. I am Groot. You know, I didn't always have a translation implant. I mean, I was failing Spanish before I left Earth, not that Spanish would have prepared me for all of this. I'm Groot. Man, those first few years, do you know how hard it was to get by without having any idea what people were saying? Half of the languages out here sound like white noise, weird birds, and messed up theremins. <laughs> I don't even want to know what Rocket actually sounds like. 
<laughs> TV did not prepare me for the realities of living in space, let me tell you. I'm cooked. Honestly, man, you're lucky you have Rocket. I mean, I know what it's like to be surrounded by people and have no one understand you how lonely that can be. I'd have been lost. You must have been lost too, before Rocket and... and us. I am... Good. I probably don't say this enough, but you really are an important part of the team. I can't imagine the Gardeners of the Galaxy without Groot. And who knows, if this thing does have your language in it and Rocket can download it somehow, or hack it, or... I don't know. I am Groot. It'd be nice to finally talk to you. For real. Glad we had this little chat. I am Groot. Alright. Awesome. Cool. I hope y'all like walking, because this is gonna take a while. Well, you think I'm glad we landed this far from the fortress? Cheer up, rodents. The rain will be refreshing. That's where they hit the... Rain is sky trash. Okay. Calm down yourself. You love rain, you flarkin' plant. I am good. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. They right, say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it had to be raining. Alright, man. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. Oh, we'll boy. figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good. We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't vote so good. <laughs> Ew. Ah. Ouch! Ugh. Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less hey, man. Slow as that. Hey, Jackets Storm Lord. Cool, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk. We'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. You must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri traitor to understand the underlying value. The underlying <laughs> value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. She's not just... Whoa! That was way too close! Well played, Lady Hellbender! Fucking Drax, dude. So we're still doing this? Yes! Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get blown right off! Good advice! Okay, this might be more dangerous than I thought. I thought you lived for danger. Oh god. Keep word live. If any of you die, I'm going back to the ship. Uh, oh god. I ever mention how much I hate being wads? Yes. Oh god. No. Stop. Man, those things are awful. Oh God! Groot says we Why do they do this? That is a terrible suggestion. Just keep moving. Bro, why do I keep getting thrown off? Trying to hit us. You sure you never dated this woman? Pretty sure. Whoa, why? The game continues, Lady Hellbender. 
Drax is loving it. Glad to be done with that, man. That was it's annoying. Is everyone okay? We should have gone to Maku 4. No, well, you should have hey, dropped these ideas earlier then, man. The old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Man, Drax, you need to cool it, guys. Look at that, it's a gelatinous cube. Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. We'll be wary, Rodin. Uh, you know, when I survive freaking Half-World, I think I'm scared of some little... Whoa, dude. It's not alone. Get ready. All right, it's time to fight some cubes. We ready, gang? I did it too early. Fruit says we should snap the twig inside. Order up. There we go. Oh, I'm really liking it, Maja. This game's fun, dude. Here looks like. We were outside a lot of fun, man. Creatures here are not her pets. Food. It's really, really cool, dude. Like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? There's a trail. Yeah, Gamora, where the, the flark are you going? What does your magical mask reveal? Give me a second. Magical this mask. This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. I ain't comfortable calling it a husk, seeing as we're about to climb it at all. Clearly not a husk. 
It is the hollowed husk of a bygone time, when the turmoil of war raged stronger than the storms of this world. Peter, get moving! Up. Words to live by. Having fun? Didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodent would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. <laughs> I'll continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. Ah. Right. We made it halfway up. I'm going to Chill out, it. Rocket. Working on it, man. There they are! Wing controls! Wing array, okay, that's that's all rocket right there. Alright, all right, rocket! That wing control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great! Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Don't sound like no jelly thing. Mm. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Collateral damage. Who's going? Oh, look, I didn't grab that down there. Yes, I can, though, right? doesn't know we're here? Nope. Only question is, which one of us it'll jump first? It's oh, probably good. not gonna jump us. Mm-hmm. Lovely. This place is a flark and maze. All those trees look like... Like giant strings of saltwater taffy. What? What's taffy? It's sweet and delicious, and it melts in your mouth. And looks like a tree, apparently. And it is made of salted water. No, that's just the name. You sure you want to get locked the out fuck here? Is Relax. That? I'm just looking around. This jungle what is majestic. Sicknarf, Sicknarfian, Blotch. Oh is hell no. Why it is majestic. I don't like that name. Not like that name at all. There's further proof that we are not welcome here. If we turn back every time we have wanted, we never go anywhere. Good point. What are you firing at, Peter Quill? You see a monster? No, just trying to stay ready. We have a plant guy to take care of a plant problem. He says plants aren't problems. Well, that's fair. You get us through here, Gamora. Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Her name is Lady. Yeah. Yeah, Gamora. If we want an audience, we will have to start showing some respect. This from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. <laughs> In we all know which Harlot Spawn it refers to. What about her sister Nebula? Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Uh, yeah. Also, not a harlot. <laughs> right, right. That's also, not true. a harlot. <laughs> we'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Oh, uh, shit, you're right, boss. The dialogue of this Wouldn't game is good, man. Honestly, oh, better than I thought, bro. It's gonna be. I, I, w I wasn't sure, like, you know, I, I, didn't, I didn't think it was gonna be this good. So, uh,. These tracks, Gamora. You're just messing with us, right? Uh, dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. 
It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what are you? do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! We're not throwing rockets. Very well. You sons of forking jaws! How will we cross? Face Look box. around, we'll find another way. My problem oh, is Meathead no. trying to huck me up. Not a chance. You are overreacting. I did not throw you. Only because Quill stopped you. Then there should be no problem. Um, what's Shatari Tech doing on a backwater mud ball? Perhaps Lady Hellbender repelled the invading swarm, and it was among the spoils. There has to be something we can use. Maybe a tall tree? Taller than Groot. What's that? It would be easier to throw the rodent. No, it would not. What if he breaks a leg? He would still have three. No one's throwing rocket. No, the statues are not watching us. Do not be so sure. Oh god. You see Lady Hellbender has eyes everywhere. No. Oh, of course they do. Wow! It is dark in here. If you bump really. into any monsters, let us know. Monster planet! Right. Hey, my shooting's not aimless. Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. Here we go. Ha. Hey. I found more ruins down here. A miracle it's still standing in these storms. Oh, you Drax. I may have angered them. Them? We're being hunted. Great. That's just great. Think these statues are of the monsters on this planet? All right, let's try not to fall. Great place to leave a sculpture. Wait, hear that? Eyes oh. up, people! Incoming! What is that? Get him, Gamora. Take me! Kick their butts! Smoke them from the road! They're like flying dicks! Be glad you're not me, Simon! Watch the stinger! The only thing worse than a bug is a flying one! Oh god. Get it out of your system before we get there. Top shot, the boy! Any last words? Anyone else notice this place looks like a graveyard? Focus on not becoming part of one. Oh. Nice. I like that. The combo moves. I dig it. It's teamwork.
Oh god, I'm about to die. God damn. That was oh the hell. Yeah, that was I'm insane. All turned around as well. Where the flock are we? Just look around. There must be a path here somewhere. Why are we so sure this is the way? The statues here didn't walk into place. They were carried. Carried? By whom? For what purpose? I thought you were supposed to be the lady hellbender expert. There was nothing in the pamphlet about statues. Shirts this way. Fifty units of today. He doesn't have fifty units. I... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. Drag, some of your Lady Hellbender tidbits are questionable. You can say that again. More or less questionable than your flying skills. People. Wow. He's got you there. Savage. Necessary. Necessarily savage. Am I cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. An old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships. Or one Chitauri infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? No. Nope. Are we even sure this is the right way? Yes. Now what's the hold up? Fear. No! We're just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Me and Groot are the merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Plan A and Plan B, okay? Anyone else feeling ready to move on? Groot says no. <laughs> just go. No! You just no go! One go! Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's right, fine. More. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Here we go. Easy does it. <laughs> it would be in the room. Root says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Oh, oh, no. Yep, definitely saw the guy. Oh, no. It was time. I keep, dude, I keep forgetting you have to time these things. And I just press the button as soon as I see it. That's what I keep fucking up on, man. That's what keeps getting me. I need to remember that you have to time them and not just fucking press as soon as you see it. Nice catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill! Shame. You're not alone here! Yeah, I got it. Oh, 
Yeah, for real, man. Oh, look, they're fighting each other. Guys, anyone know what that is? Some enemies have multiple health bars indicated by the markers of the gauge. You need to complete one bar, it's about the vanish. Really, this is what's how much it is about the enemy's Put their lights out! Prepare yourself! Man, beware the posterior. Anything on this planet not trying to kill us? We are invaders in their land. Armored spacecraft with a nice town? Scary! Let's hold this thing! To the bow! I knew something was stopping us! It will not find us easy prey. Oh god, why is it always coming after me? Next I shall enjoy this! Trap Call to action. If a momentum gauge is active, call to action pop may appear. Press the trigger, special guardian attack, special calls to action will lead them this Amazing! Stumpy's running away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. And it is settled. Let's scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. That's how, baby. Huh, can't get anything for anybody, huh? Alright. I thought, I thought every time I leveled up, it'd be a level for everyone, but I guess not. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. Doing, doing, done. One tick, done. There you go. Devices is not able to scan enemies in combat. Scanning an enemy provides clues to how to defeat them. Time slows down when you're scanning an enemy. Hell yeah. So, Badass. where are we? Waiting for you so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. Starting to wonder if I should be the one with the fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the rodent's lies. Wow. Mora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. Nova Corps weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. Hey, Quill, mind giving the old girl a scan? I agree. Maybe part of the ship's still functional. See anything useful up there? I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. The reactor thing there is pretty loose. And pretty gunked up. Alright, pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. <laughs> Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. We got it, Drax. 
Anything you can do with that busted reactor? No, I press the wrong button. Yeah, tons of stuff. Just not moving. Right about there. This unit is tremendously heavy. Hey, you're doing it though, man. Exceptionally muscular. Yes. That is why I can easily carry this great weight. Good job. Easily. Do you even know where to put it? I have merely followed our leader's directions. I see. I see. Don't take too long. We got a castle to get to. No giant monster. All good. Getting drags, I'm working on it. Bodies are still in there, all mummified and stuff. <laughs> if they are in there, they wouldn't be mummified. The environment's too damp. What next, Peter Quill? Gamora, you're up. Gotta say, I got some sick satisfaction from seeing this thing buried in the Bring back memories. Aha! Impressive. See, that was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I am Groot. I helped in spirit. <laughs> All right. Slippery wind pummeled treetops. Here we come. You know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. <laughs> we are not committed to safety. What? <laughs> safe fish? Yeah, we're safe fish. Come on, guys. Any Hellbender's Fortress. More of this weather crap. What's Captain distracted up to now? He called us over. I'm done. Whoa, 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 guys! There's this totally sweet pile of crap on the ground. So interesting. Let's all stick our fingers in it. <laughs> Looks like that's that's pretty funny, dude. Well, oh you gotta shit! See this. <laughs> Oh fuck, that's good, man. I like that. Okay, here we go. No, oh, hell no. Nah. What is that? Slime. Going like this. Uh, guys. What the hell is even that? You might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why yep. the flark is so deep? In a jam voice? Uh, you think? Some smack. Reach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! It's like what? Quill. Hell. No! I didn't realize what the hell I had to do there. I know I had to move stuff, but I didn't think I had to move both of them. I get it now, though. I got it. I, I understand what I need to do. Yeah, rockets there, dude. Oh, slimy. Uh, guys! <laughs> You might want to wait to come down here. Nice. Uh, oh. uh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam voice? Uh, you think? Oh, do I need to watch this all, the whole thing all over again? Come on, man. Some smack reach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! It's like what? Flark, flark, Alright, I know what to do this time. It'll be okay. Wait, 
Wait, what? Now what? I combined them together. Now what? I, what I had? What I had to do then? What the hell, dude? Well, I thought I knew what I had to do. Oh, slimy. Uh, guys. You might want to wait to come down here. Damn, but it doesn't oh, let me skip this either. So dude. Why do we have to keep watching that over and over Good again? Job, boys. You think? Some smack reach! Sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! Like what? Clark, Clark. Well, Nicely done, dude. Mind to mind what happened? I don't know. My blasts, they... I've only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoid tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, it will scud like this. Just, could you, just, please look down the wall. Let me, I, well, I just want to see how they tick, otherwise it might as well be magic. Or sorcery. Guys. Maybe according to the rules, some kind of morphing animal. Sorcery. Here we go again. Part of the ice element for Star Lord's guns. Fresh to me. Alright, here we go. Ice we're close. elemental. But we're gonna thing need to get really, up there. Really helps. I have the hurricane. So when I get a point, can I only use it myself or How does that work? I don't know. I'm thinking we can climb up and over. Ding ding ding! Give that man a gold star. Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. Be a planetoid. Huh. Come on, Quill. Let me get a look at them guns. Wonder if we can get anything to pop out of the side of that wreck. Rocket, can you extend that cannon? With my brute animal strength? <laughs> Rax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is more stubborn than expected. If I never see another one of these ships again, it'll be too soon. Ah, 
impossible. It will not stop. Drax, can you try again? Why? It does not stay. I'm working it out. Trust me. Yeah, this. I, I cannot hold it forever. I did it. Impressive, Peter Quill. Now we got to get the next one out. Group, can you reach in there or something? No, no, rocket, rocket, rocket. rocket. I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. There you go. Oh, what reeks in here? That's... Oh, Scott. Ah, ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what? Flark it! I'm blowing it up! What? Flark Hang it. on! Think about all the booby traps and... Nice. Ha! Don't let go! He must have jump-started the thing. Rocket, you okay? <laughs> yeah. And dry now, too. Gamora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Sure. Yes, Peter Quill. Onward. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, Onward. so she's a giantess now. <laughs> oh, man. Another murder tentacle. Careful. Oh, no. That is not a happy monster. Unknown tentacle. Well, at least it left. Back to its brood mother, Lady Hellbender. Oh. Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! How many times do I have to say it? We're not throwing rockets. Ridiculous. You're holding us back to spare the beast's feelings. When has he done the same for us? Put him down. Just be a lesson to end. Oh, I'll show you what a lesson looks like. Knock it off, guys! We're supposed to be professionals. We're better than this. I'm not. Letting a measly Chitauri installation stop our progress is unprofessional. Then stop wasting time arguing. We'll find another way across. Let me go this way. Doing some exploring. I'm pretty sure exploring is code. It means he went the wrong way, but it's too stubborn no. to admit it. All right, that good morning. Right. the greatest explorer I ever met. <laughs> I sure hope that buttless beast ain't running back to mommy to tell him. Everything okay, Peter? Yeah, just you know, turning water into ice. <laughs> I think I can see my house from here. What are you doing up there? Scout type stuff. Scouting. Looks like no. we uh, need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it. Excellent work, Peter. <laughs> uh, that's just you know, funny. you guys should take my ideas more serious. I do have augmented intelligence. What is 55,787,880 divided by 9,512? 5,863, give or take. I got a glitchy calculator chip that's always off by two. What is four plus two? Four. <laughs> what is two plus four? Eight. <laughs> and he's our engineer? Um, let's see. How much is it going to the other side? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I guess that's it, huh? I used to believe that the rodent had the most impressive firearm in our group. I've changed my mind. Will's ice cube machines? <laughs> they are versatile. Maybe. But my sweet death cannon still got 17,000 different murder configurations. Uh, such as? Yeah, just to name a few. You got killed, killed big, fast. I'm glad we know where we're going. But this road's got more holes than a Disradian tree. There wouldn't be so many gaps to cross if the bridges were extended. Hey, you think they look like a bunch of tiny rockets trying to get out of the rain? Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Working on it. Oh, anybody else smell that? It really stinks back here. Yep. Definitely something gross behind here. All right, Drax. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will be reckless. Uh, uh, that is disturbingly fragrant. After you. <laughs> disturbingly uh, fragrant. Oh, that uh, no, that's uh, gross. I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Who's that? Anybody? Come on out here. Okay, that got my uh, blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbent cage be in this there. creature? Because uh, it's annoying as scud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter, why would it taste like that? I can use this. You know, we really got monster work food. Your taste, but the cage. You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our. Their monster peacefully walking beside us? We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? Two more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast. Let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. <laughs> we need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. Oh, great. Yeah, Drax, get him, boy. We got a cheater for that. Oh, God. No carcasses on my ship. Oh, cut 
to me, peace! <laughs> you are coming with me. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god. Stop fucking lying. Man. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that played, but... I hate this floor I just planet. have to pop real crazy you hate right now. Everything, Rocket. True. But it's yeah, damn. the stinky slime tunnel part. Itchy fur is where I draw the line. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna mm -hmm. smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell like butt with you. Yeah, um. really great speech. Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth the effort. Seknoff 9 is a sanctuary. They say this that way. if you leave behind a single piece of refuse, Lady Hellbender will personally oh, return it to you. Most of the rest of the that can't be. My enforcement of the apocalypse? What the? Why do I keep getting outfits for group, man? Why can't I get a different costume for somebody else? What's up with that, bro? Gamora, could you, uh. I can't even get there. Deep <laughs> freeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. So if we're gonna haggle with the monster queen, how much are we asking for our monster? 395 million units, give or take two. One for every precious air follicle on this flawless body. You have counted them. It's bizarre. Hey. At least I have something to count. Nice. So, what do we do if all don't go well with Lady Egg? We're gonna fight a monster queen? And if all don't go well? Then we'll know we should have sold That is dead. definitely in my top ten fortresses. Look at that. It's crazy, huh? moderately amusing now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship and we owe money to the cops guys every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet say that again what if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out lady h already had a full set that would have sucked big time exactly if we even got that far what if we've been towing that thing when nova Corps intercepted us they would have taken our beast See? This is working out. Sure, in a kind of... Let's just get this done. <laughs> okay. Oh shit, what do we got here? <clears throat> you can't be serious. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a Flarkin Infinity Bridge, is what it is. Are uh, you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not perfect. Yeah, that's <laughs> super comforting. <laughs> Guess we gotta go. Okay. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you cool? Oh! Right! The cage. The point of even getting the Flarkin thing is looking like we mean business. All right, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him. You better have one hell of a sales pitch. Remind me again. How many missions have we been on so far? Thirteen. 
14, if you count Contraxia. Contraxia was not a mission. It was a mistake. All right. Point is, is I was able to sell you. Gamora, daughter of Thanos, intergalactic assassin. As a hero. 14 times! <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I think he's made his point. <laughs> Drac. Gamora, can you help me with this? No. What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> She's got you there, Quill. Now shut up and start pulling. Can you stop worrying so much? You're gonna start growing knots again. All right, well, here okay, we go. here we go. This is gonna go great, whoa. I'm sure. Whoa! Okay, whoa, whoa! A little bit close. They seem so peaceful here. Never saw a real whale when I was a kid. I guess this sort of counts. I'm sure it's real pretty, but can we not draw its attention while I'm stuck in a flarkin' cage, please? Does anybody have like a campfire song or something we can sing to kill the time? Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called. Please stop. All right, yeah. Okay. The campfire song. Is... Or... Please stop. The name of your song. No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 oh, clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. clicks. The Pergo, yeah, it kind of reminds me of that too, Dustin. Yeah, I can see that. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. Worth it, He says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that, something growing inside of you, slowly taking over. Night of the Cosmos.
Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I am so full. Mom. Oh. <gasps> okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Hey, is that a Pac-Man cake? It is a Pac-Man cake. Look at that. That's pretty cool, man. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are gonna be falling off. Mom. Home. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just 10 bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's going to be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago. And this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13. And I'm 13. Exactly. PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity. Like, butts and stuff. Butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I... I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it. Tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. What do you mean? Totally Pretty does. Please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. A lot of weirdos, eh? Hmm... I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was... I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Don't push it. <laughs> Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. <laughs> Don't you dare touch that dial. Leave that alone. I love it. And look, it even has your little handprint on it. Uh. Boring. All right, we gotta go upstairs. My pants didn't do much better than my eye in that fight. Hey, Kubrick, buddy. <laughs> cool break. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. The longer you wait to get that gift, the more likely I am to change my mind about the movie. No way. You wouldn't. Try me. Hey, man. <laughs> I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. 
Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. <laughs> Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. Hey, that's pretty good. Sky is clear. Wonder if Mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. Sure, it'd be nice to believe there are other worlds out there, but what are the odds? Pretty slim, I bet. Gonna have to get Mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. Meredith Quill. Perfect game. Not bad. Dances every UFO sighting is really a weather balloon or a bright star. But there's so many of them. Couldn't a few be real? Nothing else to interact with in here besides the gift? Nope, there's something here. I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's <laughs> convinced my dad was an alien. She We're really believes it. Her right. Could she be right?